Hi, David Yout here. This episode of Explained in 64 Seconds will feature the Commodore 64 version of Realm of Impossibility. Let's begin. Realm of Impossibility is a one- or two-player non-shooter offering 8-bit cooperative play. The goal is to retrieve seven crowns found in 13 dungeons. Each dungeon contains either one of the crowns or a key that unlocks another dungeon. Touching a monster reduces a player's hit points. Single-player games are permadeath, but in two-player games you can touch a dead player to resurrect them. Pushing on an open screen margin scrolls to the next dungeon room. With two players, the push must be simultaneous. Players may not return to a previous screen before retrieving the crown or key. A dungeon is complete when players return to its entrance. Pressing the fire button drops a cross. Crosses block movement and last for four seconds before returning to the player inventory. Rooms may contain a scroll which either gives hit points to the player that grabbed it or a spell. Spells can freeze monsters, confuse monsters, or protect players. Joystick controls can cast specific spells, but it's usually faster to simply cast the most recently obtained spell by using the spacebar. Realm of Impossibility is notable for its Escher-like impossible geometry level design. This has been explained in 64 seconds. Thanks for watching.